Born in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 is Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC team. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. But it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's octagon. And he's got a lot of size. He's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. Muhammad Ali steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, so the path to UFC welterweight gold, of course, goes through the UK, courtesy of Leon Edwards' win over Kamal Usman, but he's got to keep the focus where it belongs. He's got another hungry young challenger in front of him today. Yeah, and, and Leon Edwards is one of those guys that can lock in. He's one of those guys that doesn't seem to me now from the outside to be a guy that falls in love with everything that comes with being the champion. He lives in the now. And he will have to do exactly that if he wants to retain his championship tonight. He's got to he's got to be able to use his boxing. Leon Edwards is fast. Oh yeah. Everything he does right. He's crisp. He's sharp. And he uses all of his tools. He is really the definition of mixed martial artist. And that will have to be on display tonight if he wants to keep his championship. You're right. And he may not wow you with muscle mass, but this is quite a frame for the UFC's welterweight division. And Leon Edwards has all eyeballs on him here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Muhammad Ali. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight. Champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Go All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, look at that right hand there. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Edwards. Takedown defense is there. Left hook to the head. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Big 
big jab. Oh, oh, right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Ali gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Under two minutes here to go in round one. It's not over, it's not over. Snapping off that jab. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing from both sides. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Ali. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Leg kick. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Round two next. Stop. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. round two. That was a big check. Let it go now. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Nice job to control. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, nice right hand. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Under three to go round two. Whiffs on that offering. Edwards, his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. He's cut. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He is certainly. Oh! Down, no problem. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You 
get excited and you want to finish it because you think it's <laughs> mistake about it he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big tko victory wow that's unbelievable it, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory it was amazing john it was amazing Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight.